that's a thing I do uh, a lot of times. I'll sit around and just do that for a long time, warming up. show that to you. Uh, it's a good thing to practice. Uh, this really uh, works on your right hand, your picking. It gets you, uh, for, to, you know, familiar, your right hand muscles and everything, from, familiar with, you know, it's not the same, if you look at my right hand, it's not the same to pick up here as it is to pick down here. It just feels different, you know what I mean? Any of you all that are advanced or uh, intermediate, you know what I mean. You gotta get used to playing stuff up here, and you gotta be used to playing stuff down here too. So this kind of, this exercise kind of gets you into playing, you know, all of the strings, picking all of them. So, uh, we'll talk about the right hand more in a few minutes. The thing is in G, of course, and it goes, starts with an open E string. Let me just do it in segments for you, really slow. Uh, most of you can pick it up from that, I'm sure. Here it is. I start that most of the time when I first start it and I'm warming up most of the time I start that whole thing with that open note there with an upbeat an up pick and then I pick alternatively all the way through it and that's really backwards that's picking uh, 
up on the down beat and a lot of instructors tell you not to do that but I'm not a lot of instructors I'm not even an instructor I'm not a guitar teacher I'm just trying to show you the shit that I know and I know that picking down on the downbeat and up on the upbeat does not always work out right most of the time it works out wrong for me so I would urge you to practice uh, picking up on the downbeat so if you start this thing with an up then you'll be picking up on the downbeat all the way through this with a down stroke you'll end the very last note you hit should end with the down stroke if you've picked alternatively correct all the way through the entire se sequence now it's important you do this slow because uh, it's a, a kind of unorthodox awkward whatever picking up on the downbeat it just feels funky but you need to practice it and be able to do it uh, because I guarantee you there's, you're going to run into times that you have to do that to make everything work out right. And you know, you should practice it very slow and, and very, uh, I can't do it for shit because of my hand still messed up, but you need to practice it. Start it out very slow. I mean, don't go, don't start into it. Don't go into it like that. Don't do it because it'll ruin you. Go into it slow and uh, get every note as clean as you can. to do it all the way through starting with uh, an upstroke on the downbeat then turn it around and, and start it with a downbeat that first note uh, open on a downbeat all the way through you will end on an upbeat instead of a, a down one but practice it both ways uh, doing it on the down uh, picking down on the downbeat in that gets you uh, it helps you with picking on the downbeat uh, down strokes on the downbeat the other way helps you with uh, picking up strokes on the downbeat which instructors tell you not to do but I'm telling you to do it 